endured the persecution first before the pain that had a purpose. And we are called to consider him. Consider him who endured such opposition. Consider the hatred that he faced. Consider the fact that he wasn't even accepted in his hometown. That means his relatives, his friends that he grew up with, everybody that was his buddy, guess what? They all started hating him when he came out and was saying that he was the Messiah. <clears throat> Consider the fact that he still, with the joy before him, went towards, towards the cross. Consider the fact that he was mocked. Consider the fact that he was often misunderstood, misquoted. His name was blasphemed. Consider the fact of the shame that he had to have felt being naked on the cross, being stripped down and being beaten. Consider the fact of how badly he was beaten. Consider that, that he was stripped, that he was flogged. And consider how he was spit on and he was nailed to a cross for your sins. He endured the weight of sin so that we are all stripped of it and we don't have to. He did it all for us. So we don't have to, so that we don't grow weary and lose heart.